Gillum. Stacey Irvin checks out of the game with 41 points. He had eight trays on the nine. Forty-five seconds remaining in the game, 95 to 68. Rebound number 11, Jim O'Hara. Down to Gillum, taken away by number 20, Jeff Dingus. Armistead will drive, lays it up, and he misses it. Clark's got it, puts it up, he misses. Clark puts it up in a foul. The foul on 20, Dingus. Clark shoots, playing, and it won't fall. Second shot, playing, and it won't fall. McConnell, no, it's 54 Fraley, and a foul. 95 to 68, 23 seconds remaining in the game. Johnny Fraley to the free throw line. He's got it. Johnny Fraley. And that 96 point by Fraley was just as loud from the Twin Springs cheering section as the opening tray of the game. Second shot, no good. Gillum will bring it down. Ball's loose. And Bruce Rose shows that he's got good hands on the sideline. 17 seconds remaining, Armistead to inbound to Gillum. Pulls up, jumper, won't fall. Out of bounds, Twin Springs ball. 11 seconds remaining, 96 to 68. Dingles will bring it up and blocked by number 11, Jim O'Hara. Twenty-eight point lead by Twin Springs. Fraley with the ball. Knocked away by Clark. Fraley, and that's it. Twin Springs wins the semifinals. They'll be in the finals tomorrow night. Twin Springs, 96. John I. Burton Raiders, 68. 41 points for Stacy Irvin. We do want to congratulate the John I. Burton Raiders on winning the Lonesome Pine District Tournament and representing the LPD well in the tournament. We'll be back with some stats off tonight's game in just a moment. <laughs> 